implementing, and I want to just, um, I think there might, I just want to clarify what that community schools model is and uh, remind us of what that uh, looks like. So it starts off with a full-time community, um, uh, full-time position that is dedicated just to uh, administrating that program, that community schools model. Uh, all community schools have to do a needs assessment first, and that needs assessment is done um, to uh, determine exactly what services that school is lacking and what services need to be brought into the school. And I do want to remind people that it's not just wraparound services community school services or community schools provide, but it's also whatever the school is lacking. So if it's counselors in terms of um, college uh, counseling, um, or if it's uh, uh, more access to field trips, uh, excursions outside of school, and wraparound services. That community needs assessment will determine what are some of the things that school A, B, or C needs, and that will be provided through that model. That needs assessment might include um, health services, uh, or it might include we need a school-based health center. So that's why there is a fixed amount to provide for a staff member for the community schools for administra administration of that community schools model, as well as a full-time health practitioner. Um, we set it at that professional level so that the funding would be in place to allow uh, schools to um, have health services or go into the direction of, of providing and becoming a full-blown school-based health center that has very specific requirements. Um, so that's why those two positions are there and the language is written in the way that it is. 